The California Solar Initiative is the statewide commitment to going solar. It's a rebate program that's designed to provide cash incentives for people to help them to go solar today. And the goal is to install 3,000 megawatts of solar energy on the rooftops in California. When we thought about putting a solar electricity system in and, and then made the decision to do it, once we decided that, I couldn't get it in soon enough. Solar panels have been around for a long time. Why is now the right time to go solar? Now's the best time to go solar. The tax credit's in place. It's 30%. It's uncapped. It's on your federal income taxes. And it's no longer subject to alternative minimum tax. So everybody can take advantage of it. Cash incentives are higher for people that go today rather than people that are going to go, you know, four or five years from now. I thought about going solar, but I don't understand the difference between solar panels and solar water heating. So solar really covers two major different types of technologies. One is to heat water, solar water heating. So that way when you're using your hot water for your showers or your dishwasher, the energy to heat that water is actually coming primarily from the sun. Solar water heating has the highest potential of all energy efficiency measures for reducing the household consumption of natural gas. You can offset 70 to 80 percent of the cost of heating the hot water on an annual basis by choosing solar water heating. Solar can also be used to generate electricity. And that electricity you can use to send through your home and power your home and so on. And the California Solar Initiative you know, is designed to provide cash incentives for either of those. And the great thing is about the two technologies is they can be used on the same house. In this housing market, is it really the right time to go solar? There's really five you know, financial benefits that you get by going solar. The biggest benefit financially is what's known as net energy metering. And that's where the utility is going to credit you for the full retail value of the electricity you produce. And you can reduce your electricity bill to as low as $5 a month. Then there's the federal tax credit, right? That's the 30% that's going to come in and help you the year after you install it. There's the cash incentive from the California Solar Initiative that we pay today once you've installed the system. There's the property tax exemption. So the state is exempting solar from property tax. So they're giving you a cash incentive on one side, but they're not gonna tax you on it on the other side. And finally, there's the potential that it's gonna increase your home value. This is, this is really, a, I think, a new, a new era for solar. People are starting to look at it for what it really is, which is an investment. And they're starting to think of it in terms of, what is my rate of return? And with the tax credit, with the cash incentives, with the you know, net metering that's in place, People are looking at 8, 10, 12, 15 percent return on investment by going solar. Does it make good business sense to go solar? Qualcomm saves over $125,000 a year on our electric bill due to installing our photovoltaic systems. The time value for a business is that the sooner you install it, the sooner you start saving. The incentives provided by the California Solar Initiative totaled nearly $1.3 million for Qualcomm. This was a key component of making a business case for going solar for us. Businesses can benefit by taking advantage of solar water heating, especially those businesses that have a constant demand for hot water. If it's a laundry, if it's a hospital, if it's a hotel, they're going to have a great advantage by using solar water heating to reduce their bills and their consumption of fossil fuels used to heat the water. I'm convinced solar power makes good economic sense, but it's still good for the environment, isn't it? Every day that we drive a car or use electricity that's produced from burning of fossil fuels, the amount of atmospheric carbon dioxide goes up. In my mind, though, generating clean electricity from the sun versus burning fossil fuels for 17 years for the same amount of money, that made solar a total no-brainer for us. It becomes a, a social and environmental issue of what kind of world we leave to our grandchildren. How easy is it to go solar? The installation process is really painless. It really is. Usually lasts for two to three days. 
The workers are there working on your roof, the side of your house, possibly inside your garage. It's really taking place on the outside of your home. The contractor doing all the hard work for you, doing the paperwork, the permitting, and the interconnection. With the contractor we used to put our solar system in, uh, they handled all the rebate paperwork. We just paid the contractor the price of the system minus what the rebates were going to be. They handled everything. We didn't have to get involved in that part at all. I'm ready. I'm convinced. What's the best way to go solar now? The best way to go solar is to go online to gosolarcalifornia.org. Online, you're going to find information for homeowners, business owners, and developers. You'll find your contractor lists, and you'll find the workshops that are free in your area. Find a contractor, do your energy efficiency audit, and you're on your way. California is in a position to show the rest of the nation and the world how to do it with respect to converting solar energy into electricity. This is a direction that not just the state is going, the federal government is going, the nation's going, the world is going. The world is committed to a renewable energy future, and solar is a huge part of it. It's here today, and it's here to stay.